What's going on YouTube? Alan here. And this is a short video about an idol of mine, I would say. I can actually call him an idol, role model. Back in the days where I used to surf the forums, the mask, the bodybuilding forums. And look at all those freaky bodybuilding pros. He was one of my biggest motivation along with Ronnie Coleman and today he claims natural I do believe him his physique looks natural to me um, if you guys don't know he used to be I think he was he won the Mr. Olympia one time um, he had an incredible proportional aesthetically pleasing huge physique and he was one of the best in my in my opinion along with Ronnie Coleman and today is natural so I'm gonna show you two pictures now the one on the left is him in 2003 probably his top shape as you can see he's not in stage condition now but still you can see amazing amazing genetics amazing muscle bellies and just great legs great overall shape round and full muscles and just symmetrically and proportionally pleasing and on the right we got him today as a natural bodybuilder now I bet at least half half of the people watching this video would say he's not natural you know eat clean train hard and all that stuff but whatever haters gonna hate I do believe him he looks great and there's nothing that looks unnatural to me Anyway, you should check him out on YouTube if you don't know him yet. I think he's even doing uh, a lot of new videos recently as a natural. So this is kind of interesting to see. I never saw any pro that used to be in that condition. You know, top Olympia athlete and then going back after a few years to what calls natural. Anyway, it's just an interesting transformation I would call it or some people would see it as a drawback but I think it's nice anyway guys just a quick update I'm one week out from my men's physique competition in Germany um, I'm pretty ripped I do look fat because I have a lot of water still so I'm gonna start losing water pretty soon I'm not going to stop drinking, I'm just saying I'm going to manipulate my body with the carbs, you know. And I think I probably should stop using creatine. Usually for natural athletes, they say they should take creatine up until the day they go on stage. It does not matter. And also for natural athletes, they should not stop drinking and do all that stuff. It doesn't matter. It just matter when you're on steroids. And then you stop, you cut the water and you do a lot, all kind of different stuff. So, but I, I actually think I need to cut the creatine because somehow I do feel kind of bloated. And I know that creatine puts the, the water into the muscle and that's where you actually want it to be. But I still feel kind of bloated. And I know I reduced my body fat pretty well now and I got another week but I'm going to cut the carbs now slowly two or three, di three days before the show I'm going to cut them completely I'm going to eat like about 30 maybe 50 grams a day and then one day before the show I'm going to do a loading I'm going to eat a lot of carbs and from my experience it's amazing how you can manipulate the body like that so if you got a photo shooting coming up or a competition really recommend trying that before that um, I did it several times before that in different kind of events, shows, 
Um, not bodybuilding shows or physique show. This is my first physique show, but I did it on a different kind of expos, bodybuilding, you know, events. So I know it works. Back in the UK, I did that, and I looked great. And it actually, um, it it lasts for about three to four days. So I ate a lot of carbs, and I didn't spill out for about three to four days. So it was kind of cool. And as I mentioned, I did it a couple of times in the past, so I'm kind of confident about how to bring it on stage, and I'm not gonna bring it, so we'll see. I'm practicing some posing, it's pretty simple, but you gotta know the turns, you know, and just make it flow together and look nice. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna keep you posted. Competition video, I'm gonna put it up as soon as I got it and put it on the computer and, you know, all that nice stuff. Anyway, catch you in the next video. Stay tight. Boo!